Hello YouTube, it's Vegas Penguin, and first thing the game playing in the background is some uplink gameplay. I was doing for my daily challenge, which is just to get 30 kills with an SMG and uplink, and I did that pretty quick. Um, this side, uh, as you can see, the second side, this side I was focused on slaying, and then towards the end of the game, I really wanted to win. But uh, yeah, as you can see right there, I completed my daily challenge, but uh, everything else was just trying to slay these guys out. And what I want to talk about today are is, are streaks too easy to get in Advanced Warfare? And I've been thinking about this for a while now, and um, it's really brought to my attention because oh, so many times in the game, especially playing Hardcore, Hardcore you see so many Warbirds, so many Goliaths, so many Paladins. It's like absolutely insane, it doesn't make any sense. And um, I really wanted to delve into the situation. And are score streaks too, way easy to get in Advanced Warfare? So, and if you guys don't know what a streak system is, um, it's score streaks. So if you get points, if cap a flag, those points go to your score streaks. And um, I just want to read you guys off the uh, streak list for Advanced Warfare right now. So here we go. Our aerial Recon Drone is 350 points. UAV, 400 points. Aerial Assault Drone, 450 points. Care Package 500 points, Remote Turn 550 points, System Max 600 points, Vulcan 600 points, Missile Strike 650 points, Bomb Run 725 points, Goliath 775 points, Warbird 850, and the highest streak in Advanced Warfare is worth 950 points. 950 points, that's only 9 kills and 1 assist. If you're playing Domination, let's see, so that's what your home base fly cap, because for some reason that's 200 points. And then, let's see, home base flag cap, and then 7 kills, but if you get a kill on a flag, you know, that's going to boost it, and that's going to be improving your score. And it was really brought to my attention when I was playing with a dude. Dude on the other team was 5-1 and one with 1 flag cap, and he had a paladin already. And this was just like 30 seconds in the game, already had a paladin. It blew my mind. I just thought, how in the world does someone already have a paladin? Is it really that easy to get a streak in this game? It just blew my mind because 5 and 1, 30 seconds in, all he had was one flag cap, and he has the highest streak in the game. To me, that makes no sense whatsoever. And um, I really want to look at Black Ops 2 because Black Ops 2, there was way more variety of streaks, and they were all fair. The highest streak in Black Ops 2 was 1,900 points. That was the swarm. That's nearly a 1,000 point difference between Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 2. That's just absolutely insane. A thousand points between the best streak in Black Ops 2 and Advanced Warfare. Like, how much broad and clear can I get? Like, honestly, an Orbital VSAT was much more than the highest streak in Advanced Warfare. Orbital VSAT was 1,200 points, so that's about 12 kills. Or if you cap a few flags, that's probably about, like, 10 kills and um, a flag cap. But, um, that's just insane. Black Ops 2 had the best variety of streaks, I'd say, in any Call of Duty. And it was definitely fair to get. You didn't see everyone dropping swarms, dogs, all this other stuff, like, constantly. Unlike Advanced Warfare, you see it constantly. A Warbird, a Paladin, a Goliath. And it really makes no sense whatsoever. And it just, it does, it's not fair. Like, they, they said they were going to bring skill to this game. But honestly, if it's that easy to get the highest streak in your game, like, what's really, what even is the point? And, um, if you guys didn't know, I, I, what I think is I just thought everyone was going to be using attachments, which really a lot of people don't use attachments on their, on their, uh, score streaks, which is really weird because some attachments are good, but honestly, 950 for your highest streak in the game, that's absolutely ridiculous. The highest streak in Ghost was 1500 points, so that was about 15 kills. And in Ghost, it went by the kill system, so if you got a kill, it went towards your streaks. And that's how I like it the best, because honestly, score streaks are too fluky. It's way too fluky, especially in Advanced Warfare. Black Ops 2, not as much. Black Ops 2 was actually, like, pretty fair. It was right. It was deserving. But this game was way too fluky with, with its score streaks, and... I don't know, it's it's mind-boggling to me that practically any you could be going negative and you can get a paladin. Like that's how insane it is. No one in Black Ops 2 can go negative and get a swarm, but this game somehow you can go negative, you can get a warbird, you can get a paladin easy. If you just hop on a few flags, you know, maybe get one or two kills on the flag, voila, you have the highest streak in the game. It's just brutal in my opinion. There's barely a variety of streaks in this game. It really doesn't make you enjoy the game, and um, yeah, it's just mind-boggling to me that about a thousand-point difference between this game and Black Ops 2.
But advanced warfare really does bring the definition of no skill assault. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I went pretty beast. I went 64 and 22. That's pretty hard in the paint. But uh, I max prestige also. I'll probably do a video on that soon. And uh, tomorrow we're supposed to get the patch. I don't know. Today was too frustrating. We didn't get it. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'm Vegas Penguin. Like, comment, and if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. And I'm out.